What's up guys, Main Man Sui here and welcome to Heiachi Mishima's 8 minute guide. A lot of people think Heiachi is like Kazuya, it's down like 2 or 4 for 2. That's not the case. Heiachi is a pitbull. Match control, some of the best mids and highs in the game to keep your opponent from ever pressing a button again basically. You make them very afraid of getting counter hit. And that's basically it. And then he also plays around a lot with timing and we're gonna get to that. So, match control, you create this with jab, which is arguably, you know, the best universal move in the game, and down for one. Both of these have crazy follow-ups. One back two. Uh, the back two there is like plus eight on a normal hit, on block it's like minus two, so it pretty much resets neutral, and it tracks to both sides. And it's very delayable. It's pretty good. I consider it the best string in the game. And then his down for one is plus nine on a normal hit, and you, you can... Whenever you choose to, end this string, down for one, two. And it wall splats, knocks down, big damage. So down for one alone, you know, keeps the opponent very honest because they are going to be afraid of that follow-up. And then, you know, jab, back two. Oh, those two alone are pretty scary. And then insert forward four. Keeps them right next to you. Ugh, let me go to their knees on block there and you're at plus four. Down for one, uninterruptible. And you can already tell the pressure is pretty crazy. Hunting Hawk, plus three on block. Normal hit launcher. Hey. My god, he, this guy seems like he has pressure. Insert while stunning four. Always strong with Mishima's. Dick jab. And suddenly your opponent is pretty damn locked down. And this is how you control matches with Heiachi. And again, forward four, normal hit, plus seven, on crouch guarantees a down forward one, two, crazy good. And then you have electric, which is plus five on block. Launches for enormous damage. And your opponent never really wants to duck Heiachi. And why is that? Oh, because of this, the demon uppercut. Uh, super long range, super damaging launcher that tracks to both sides, has crazy range and evades a lot of mids going in. Yeah, did you get all of that? Uh, if your opponent uh, plays a character that can't punish this move properly, throw it all day long. It's pretty much OP. And then when you... these two moves in conjunction, like... I, I don't ever want to duck. I don't ever want to duck. This scares me too much. Well, look at this. Electric, if you don't duck it, plus five. So these two moves, uh, you know, together on a character that can't punish, demon uppercut, you know, I hope you're starting to see the pressure here and that we do not need the, the classic, you know, 50-50. Um, and down four is a good uh, stress poke to use. Uh, you'll see JDCR put that to great use. Uh, and then we play around with timing with Heiachi. When does the opponent like to press buttons? And when he does, one back two is a 10 frame. Uh, can't counter it natural string. Ford free is insanely good. Counter it launcher. Super long range, tracks to both sides, pretty much resets neutral. It's like minus three or minus four on block. And on normal hit, uh, four for two, if you time it, oh, I got him, I'm not timing it correctly. There we go, backflip there. That is actually guaranteed. I bet you didn't even know about that. Uh, and I got him, not timing it properly. Here we go. Learn to do this. This also works from four to three. Oh god, it's pretty strict. There we go. Uh, and 4, 2, 3, very delayable. Super good counter string. And the second hit has the exact same properties as the uh, normal forward 3. Uh, and back 4, you know, the, the season 4 buff. Safe, mid, uh, home, homing. You know, pretty good range. Counter it launcher now. Very good, very good. When will the opponent press? So important to Yachi. While standing two, such an underrated uh, counter hit launcher. Counter hit launcher, super evasive, safe. Safe on block. And works so well in conjunction with, with down four. Uh, oh. Look, he tried to jab me there. <laughs> So good. And then we have the parry setups. Uh, all of these strings are very safe for a reason. They set up Heihachi's 
uh, launching, oh god, his launching parry. 4-2-3 is so good on block. My parry, launching parry. Same with 4-3. Set up. Guaranteed. If they stand up. And guaranteed on the ground. Learn to do that setup. Uh, so that, what that is, is parry, back four, dash, sidestep left, down for the one, one, down one, and then forward for two immediately. Uh, this works on down for the one, one, parry setup. One back two, parry setup. Use all of these. Uh, opponents love to jab check after they block something. Just to see, is it minus 10? Can I punish this? Or just to, you know, take back their turn. They love to jab. Use these setups. Uh, and then use throws to stress the opponent even more. Two break. One plus two break. One break. Use all of them. Because they, they will be so hesitant to duck as well. When all of that fails is when you utilize 50-50. Okay, he's just never ducking. Everything else is not working. I'm gonna throw down back twos. But again, this is super risky. But at the wall, uh, and hell, hell sweep is good. Tracks to both sides. It's the only hell sweep that's homing. Hell sweep uh, is pretty good. Mix up after. I would use that instead of down back two. It's not very good. But at the wall, you have a really good full crouch mix up. While standing two is a safe mid. That wall splats. Uh, and then you can use the sweep here. Guaranteed for for two. And then they have to stand up in a super bad position. It's, that's actually very good. Uh, and then for punishment, his, his uh, 10 frame 1-1-2, uh, wall splats, uh, that's super good. Uh, 12 frame, bad range, but you get 4-1-2 into iron hand. 13 frame is down for 1-2. Electric, 14 frames and above. Unfortunately, unfortunately, no easy standing launcher. You have to get really good at block punish electric. While standing, 11 frame is while standing 4. 14 frame is while standing 1 into iron hand. 18 frame, you get a launch. So punishment is weak on Heihachi. It's because his offense is so strong. So, and how do you deal with Heihachi? Do not ever duck Heihachi. Ever. Like ever. Unless he starts spamming Damage 2 all day long. Don't ever duck. Uh, be very patient. If you see the first Hell Sweep hit you, now duck. Because risk reward is you don't want to get launched. Uh, wait for an opportunity to challenge. Usually wait for him to run out of patience and he will commit to down for the one too. And when he does, do a punish that recaptures your turn. While standing 4-4 is not optimal with Heihachi because that leaves me in like neutral or minus 2. I would do while standing 4 into plus 8 and just take back my turn. You don't want him to still have momentum. So do a punish, recapture your turn, uh, block all day long. Don't duck, have patience, learn, see his flowcharts, his patterns, and find the holes. That's how you counter. And don't be afraid to sometimes challenge him, so he, he doesn't always rely on you blocking. Uh, if you see parries, these classic uh, setups I showed you, challenge with kicks, like down forward four. Challenge with kicks or lows. Don't, needless, don't needlessly sidestep. Don't ever sidestep, this is not Kazuya. Forward forward two will clip you. Stop sidestepping. This is not Kazuya. Just block. And for combos, double electric, 4-2-3, back 2-3 is the way to go. It's always double electric or back 1-2, basically. And then CD4-4, 1-2 works on all characters. On males, wall combo is back 3-2 into 1-2. And that's it. That is Heihachi in a nutshell. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.